This is an infographic I've just done recently. It's not 100% done. The majority of it's done. The timeline, I've animated a little bit. I'd like to animate it more. What I have here is click this button and this engine starts out, which I, ma I made this engine quite a, quite a while ago in an original Adobe Flash, and I ported it over to the current version of Adobe Animate. Then you have this little movie clip running. And you click and they go on and off. Now to look at the actual animate project. It's a one frame animation. And you have two different movies. I'd like to put a third movie in. I probably will later. And again, I've only got two of the buttons working in the timeline. But I wanted to show this project. So to the library, Here's the pipe to complete, which is the which is the engine movie. And you see here, this is all done with classic tweens, as you can see here, which just loops. And the movie is shot on and off by the button, which is on the main stage, right above 1882. The other movie is the oil can movie, which is right here in the library. We'll have some rotations, clockwise and counterclockwise, and just synchronized everything and did, did this with the drop. To create the rotations is fairly simple. I'll do that with a rectangle tool. You convert your object to a symbol. And then you create a motion tween. Then coming over here to properties, go to frame, and then do either clockwise or counterclockwise, and you have your number. And there's your rotation. For the appear or the disappear of the two movies, use code snippets. First, I would give it an instance name and call that engine. And while it's selected, go to Code Snippets, to HTML5, then to Actions, and Hide an Object. Click to hide an object. So this is what the action script looks like. And I'm going to test the movie. And you see everything's running. Now I should click this, and it disappears. So in order to make this invisible and then click be visible when it appears, inside of the function, what I'm going to want is it for to be visible true. And outside of the function, what, what I'm going to want is it to be visible false. So I'm going to copy this and paste it above the function. Here's the event listener, which is the click when you click the mouse, and the function is what's going to happen when you click the mouse. So outside, I want it to be false. Right inside of these two brackets is where all the code is that's responsible for what's going to happen when you click the mouse. There could be more than one line here. There could be a couple of statements which would tell the browser to do something. Now I'm just going to change this to true. And another test. So now it's invisible, but I can't. I have nothing to click on. So what I'm going to do is give the button a, a name in the properties panel after I select it, and I'll call that button engine engine run, and I'll change the I'll change the code. So all I do is change this to engine capital R U N. And I have my engine visible false. And then in my function, I have engine visible true. So I'll test it. Hope that helps. Thanks.